Hi and welcome to my unboxing and review for the Future Cat M1 Big Rosa Corsa Black Puma Ferraris and today I'm going to show you the features of the Ferrari Pumas and what's good and what's bad. Right, first I'm going to unbox the package. A first little tricky, it's a neat little bag actually. It contains some really unnecessary information but if you're kind of that guy who's like, hmm, let's read that. You enjoy this bag. Right, it's slightly difficult to get off one hand, but we're okay. Right, here are the Puma Ferraris. As you can see, they're in a nice bright red design with the white flick of the back. As you can see, they have a clear Ferrari badge and an Italian Italian flag. As you can see, you have a, a curved shape going down here and a big Ferrari sign here. My bad, Puma. Um, as you can see on the bottom, it's a pure, pure rubber, and it's very grippy. But I would say at one of the Christmases, it's quite thin here, and doesn't give that much support. If it was like, say, like, out to here, it'd be a lot bigger and a lot better, and give you a lot more support. It also includes a heel and toe, whereby this is a rounded driver's heel and gives you extra support for when running. So, like that, basically. Thank you for my excellent running skills there. And mostly he's got this shiny glass black, which is, as you can see from camera, is reflecting quite nicely. I have to say, though, that um, these shoes were very cheap and reasonable. They were only £55, and for what they are, that is extremely good value. However, I also got a deal um, from the Puma Ferrari website that made the reduction in price go down even further to £38, which I think was an absolute bargain. And, um, get the other one up here so you can have them both of them. And I think it was totally worth it buying these. As you can see, nice, nice laces, and they've got a nice design. Big, big puma there. Um, they have a lightweight design, and they're very comfortable to use. Um, I would say, though, um, puma tend to be built on the small side for people's feet. So I would suggest going up on one side, say if you were size 9 UK, I would suggest going to 9.5 or 10 UK, as these tend to be quite thin. Um, that's about it really, just just one thing, um, they're overall very nice, nice texture to them, good looking, cheap, comfortable, and they're made by Ferrari, so yes, hope you enjoy buying your new shoes, and yes.